Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, just a quick one before I get ready to go to work. Uh, this might be a little touchy subject. It's going to be talks about like a little bit of feminism and when it goes a little wrong. Um, but it's not me uh, hating on women. I love women. And I'm all for equal rights. But the key term to that saying is equal. So <laughs> think about it. Um, and it all started with this. I remember about a month ago or so, I got this aftershave in the mail, and I've used it a couple times. And this isn't a review on the aftershave. It's an aftershave. You know, uh, smells like an aftershave. Um, it's got a nice sweetness to it, believe it or not, because vanilla. And some spice in it, some cinnamon, nutmeg. And that's basically what you get from old school aftershaves, usually. There's like four main ingredients. There's lavender. There's a spice of some sort, usually cinnamon or nutmeg. There's a green note. Usually pine or and cedar, um, and some sweetness with usually a vanilla. Vanilla is used in a lot of old school aftershaves, believe it or not, and um, that's what you get from it. You know, I mean, I guess if you want, that's the smell performance. About an hour. <laughs> it's, it's a dirty ass old cheap aftershave, and I loves it. Um, but what what brought it on is, uh. Dad was here the other day, and he's seen it sitting there, and he's like, that's the stuff that Buddy used to use at the barbershop. See, when I was a kid, there was a guy who had a barbershop in our uptown area, the center of the city type deal, and um, he had been there since, like, the 40s. I mean, he was old when I was a kid, and, uh, or at least he seemed old. He was probably just in his late 50s, but he was a, he was a veteran. You know, I don't, I think World War II was a little too far for him, but he was a veteran of the army. Uh, he was a, he was an army barber and, uh, dad used to take me and later my brother, when he got a little older too, to the barber, we'd all go to the barber and my mother would take my sister to like the salon, right? Because this guy only did six, seven haircuts, right? He, he did shaves, beard trims, um, beard shaping, and I only remember him ever doing half a dozen type of cuts. You know, he did the crew cut. He'd shave your head. He'd do a crew cut. Uh, he'd do your basic trim. You part it in the middle, part it in the side, whatever. I mean, he did basic cuts, men's cuts. And for the longest time in the city when I was a kid, you could almost walk around the city and tell who went to the, who went to this barber because they all had the same haircut, right? Half a dozen haircuts. And everybody loved him. He was a, he was a nice man, a nice old man. I went to him. Right up until around uh, 2000 is the last time I got a haircut because I was starting to go bald. And uh, I was shaving my head up until then and I decided to let it grow back because I was going bald. I might as well enjoy it while I had it. And and uh, that was the last time I went to him. Anyway, my dad was like, oh, that's the stuff uh, Jimmy used to use. That was his name, Jimmy. And... Uh, I was like, oh, that's why I, I know the smell. And he goes, oh, yeah, he goes, he'd splash that on you. I always got a crew cut, believe it or not, most of the time. Dad said, he splashed that on the back of your neck. He was done, and you'd wiggle and wiggle. And I said, oh, yeah, I know. I remember now. Yeah, yeah. So so it's nice when you find something from your youth you didn't even, you knew you knew it from somewhere, but you couldn't figure out how, and that's how. So that was great. Um But see, what happened was, and this gets into the feminist part, there was a few women that were upset that he didn't cut women's hair. He only cut men's hair. First off, so what? Um, so they made a big stink. They brought a camera and stuff. This is like early, about 2000, when maybe 2001, he retired afterwards because it just wasn't worth it. He was getting ready to retire. He was like 80 some years old, right? His, his haircutting days were pretty much coming to an end. <laughs> but I mean, he'd done so many same haircut. He could do it with one hand and two eyes closed. I mean, he, just, he was a great old barber. And uh, they made a big stink and, and brought reporter in the paper. Oh, he wouldn't cut their hair and stuff. And he wouldn't cut women's hair. And he had the best comeback to them. He said, I never said I wouldn't cut women's hair. 
He says, I only know how to do these cuts. You want to come in and get a crew cut? I'll give you a crew cut. Because he didn't do any coloring, perms, layering, anything like that. It was literally a few cuts. And he was like, I never said I wouldn't do women's hair. You guys all just assumed I didn't. I was like, that's great. You want a crew cut? I'll give you a crew cut right now. But they still made, oh, you, you know, women don't want crew cuts. And blah, blah, blah. We want this. And he's like, I don't do that. What's wrong with that? Anyway, they made us think about it, so he, he that was a good comeback. And they still made us think about it for weeks. They were, yeah, it was just ridiculous. And this guy was so beloved in the city that nobody, I know the, the, these these women at times, oh, we're going to be heroes to the, to the, they were shunned. Like, shunned and what had happened was is uh a lot of guys found out that one of the women the leader so to speak worked at an all-females gym which i'm not against i think I, i'm perfect i i think there should be an all-females gym i think there should be all males gym i mean just sometimes men need to bond with other men it's, it's natural and sometimes and women need to bond with other women and women need a place to feel safe because I know going to the gym for a lot of women is a rough thing because they're always feel like and chances are there's somebody watching them. You know what I mean? And not in a good way. Like, ooh, that's sexy bitch. Ooh, you know, she just wants to fucking work out. You're sitting there Googling her ass. That ain't cool, guys. Don't do that. So I'm all for it. Great. So what a bunch of guys did For like three weeks, half a dozen of them, if not more a day, walking to the gym to join with little video cameras at the time. You had the fucking little, they were just starting with the, the small DVD disc and stuff and wanting to join the gym. And her telling them, no, no, it's a man, it's a woman's gym, men, men allowed, blah, blah, blah. And anyway, it, hypocritical, very hypocritical. Again, I've got no problem with, it was just a great story that, that I remembered afterwards that, you know, and, and that gym, uh, ended up closing about six months later because they lost about 50% of their clientele simply because I don't know, these, these women wanted to be, like I said, the heroes in the community and women's rights and everything, which I, again, I'm cool with. It's just, if you want equal rights, you've got to give equal rights. And they, and this leader of the group wasn't doing it. And uh, anyway, yeah, the gym closed and they had an interview with her. And she still was very, almost militant, which is never a way to be for anything. Unless you're in the military, there's no need to be militant about how it was his fault that she lost her job and this closed. And she couldn't look in the mirror. And see whose fault it really was. And. Uh, yeah. I mean it was. So I, I guess the moral of the story is. It's okay. You could do what you know. To want equal rights. Absolutely. 100%. But the term in there is equal. If you want. Women to have a place where only women can go. Then men should have a place where only men can go. You know, there, there used to be a men's club uh, uptown, too. Uptown's a very old type area, and it used to be all men. And uh, I think it was just recently, the last 10 years, they uh, they uh, started letting women go into the club. And uh, again, they ended up closing like two years later. They lost all their male clientele because it was a place where men went to talk about men's stuff and, you know, watch sports, whatever, you know, talk about ladies. I mean, we just, I, a lot of men felt they couldn't do that there because of that. And uh, they ended up closing two or three years later. So, like I said, the moral of the story is just, just let people have some fun, guys. You know, let people go to a place where they feel wanted and safe, man or woman, transgender gay, bi, whatever, just let people have fucking a place, guys, 
Seriously, there's no, there's no need of any, I mean, why would, why as a man would I want to go to a woman's gym? I don't. I don't want to, you know, I'm going to be super out of place there. But why as a woman would you want to go to a men's club? I don't, I don't get that. You, 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 you stick out like a sore thumb, you know, and. And there's plenty of places where men, women, again, bisexual, gay, transgender, you can all intermingle. There's plenty of places. Normal everyday nightclubs and bars and pubs and the boardwalk in here and, and, and things. You don't just let people have a place, guys. Again, man, woman, transgender, whatever. I don't care if they want to have their own little place where they can get together and, you know, be with people like-minded Ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. But, you know, I I really don't think there's a problem with that. If, if women want to have a bar that they go to that's women only, that's cool. I mean, men want to have a bar they go to where it's men only, that's cool. If, you know, people who are gay, whatever, want to have a place to go together where... That's cool, too. I mean, there's plenty of other places. You don't need to go to that place. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you're only trying to go to that place to make a point, right? I mean, do you really, as a woman, want to go to a men's bar or a men's club? Do you really, as a man, want to go to a, you know, a woman's pub? I mean, I don't, I don't. Anyway, I don't mean it's not political. I'm not trying to be because you know me. I don't give a fuck what you do, who you are, what gender you are. I love you as all. I just, it brought up that memory of that story. And I thought I'd share it. So, yeah. All right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other.